we are coming to the second part of living and non living things fish swim using their fins while birds fly using their wings you can see the picture of a touch me not plant whenever you touch this plant it immediately closes down non living things do not move on their own they move only when someone moves them let us see certain examples if you want to displace a table from one place to another will it move on its own the answer is obvious no you have to displace it by yourself or with the help of someone similarly a car cannot move on its own unless until a driver operates it coming to the next point living things grow all living things grow and develop growth means growth is when the increase in size and weight and development happens by the changes in the body you can see a child grows into an adult a small seedling grows into a tree whereas non living things do not grow coming to the next point living things feel all living things are sensitive to their environment which means they can detect and respond to the changes around them they react towards the various changes in the surroundings human beings and animals feel the changes with the help of their sense organs humans sweat when they feel hot and shiver when it is cold for example if you touch a hot object you will immediately feel the heat and let it go that object plants also feel the changes around them even dogs bark at the strangers they feel the sunlight and grow towards it a sunflower plant tries to face towards the sun coming to the next part non living things do not feel living things next point is living things reproduce all living things reproduce which means they reproduce young ones just like them human beings give birth to their babies animals like hen fish or birds lay eggs others like cows cat or dogs give birth to their young ones plants produce new plants usually through their seeds you can see the picture a woman with her baby a cow with calf a hen with eggs non living things do not reproduce then coming to the last point living things have a life span before discussing what is life span we must know that living things do not live for ever ever it will die one day it lives for a period of time which is different for different living things this period is called life span this particular period of time we call it as a life span and this life span varies from living things to living things for example life span of a dog is about 10 to 13 years whereas a banyan tree can live up to 200 years or more infobus portion is very important the great banyan tree is located in acharya jagadish chandra bose indian botanical garden howrah near kolkata in india it is about 250 years old non living things do not have a life span